What is going on my peeps, your boy Versatile is back with another video. Back 48 hours later, how has the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 book cover keyboard case been? I initially was gonna do it 24 hours and then like maybe a 72 or just wait that week to really see how this goes, but I couldn't help but come back and give you guys my shocking results thus far, just 48 hours later. Yes, before we get into that, make sure you guys ignite that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that way you guys stay informed when I drop videos. Now let's get into it. What has been so shocking about this keyboard? Has it been DOA or dead on arrival? Has this keyboard given into all the criticism and flopped on me as soon as I put this bad boy on the tablet? Ah! No, it hasn't. This this keyboard case has been stunningly amazing i don't know if it was just simply following the directions letting it sit for an hour applying that heavy college book to it to make sure that this gets good proper suction onto the back of the tablet but this case has been no issue for me yes i have actually even docked it on the uh docking station for the tablet six as, you, as i showed you guys in the last video i leave it with the flap up so I leave it up like that. Like I will leave it up like that. And all day, yeah, for 24 hours basically, I had it sitting like this. Just like this for a whole 24 hours on my little table, uh, couch table, I'll call it. I've had it sitting just like this for 24, over 24 hours, just literally watching stuff or it's just propped up. So, and the back, never came off one time it never lost its suction it's been amazingly and surprisingly great as i would have expected from this product now again as i've told you guys i have looked through various samsung community tabs i have looked through several uh just questions uh, regarding this keyboard case i have done as much homework as i possibly could look at that you see that Ooh, you can see the mouse on the screen there boom i have just done everything to see what i could do to improve this for me and make sure that i have no issues i get optimal usage out of this keyboard case and since following the directions make sure in the back of the tablet was clean taking off that initial film piece that I never, I didn't see that little thin piece that people claim that it may have been there. It's just that one simple one that you saw me pull off, applied it, put some pressure on it, put the book on it for about an hour and a half. I let it sit for a minute just because I also left the house. So I actually couldn't come back to check it out because I was gone, but maybe that just also helped. And since then I have had no issues whatsoever. So that's been a great thing. Now, the one thing that I have not gotten used to was the S Pen holder. I mean, if I had nails, this would be a lot easier. But as you guys can see here, I'm struggling to get this open. But once you do, because it's so magnetically attached, which may also help with the suction, you know, I can get the pin out now. But that's one thing I has been yeah, trying to get used to. Um, that's why when I take it out, unless I have to charge it, I really just dock it right there on top of the tablet because it magnetically connects to the case, uh, to the tablet casing, and I'm good to go there. So in terms of this, it's been great. Now, as you guys can see, I can click, I can right click, and then you got left click. Now, one of the things I considered doing with this case was made, like was playing with the hinge here. So one of the things I was very tempted to do was take this hinge and kind of work it. So that way it would give a lot easier when, you know, I try to go and kick the stand out. But I second guess that because I don't want this to give once it's in position. So it might give over time, maybe, but that's why I decided not to do that. I'm just going to let it work its way through being used to being or adjusting to being adjusted for different positions. And right now it's not as slanted or angled as you know most may like it then i could kick it back some more if i wanted to i know somebody said like two inches is probably about as good as you want to go for the back so and as i said before i do take the back of the that i kind of put place my hand to the back so that way i secure the case while i kick out the kickstand 
So that's one of the things I wish I didn't have to do. I mentioned that in, in my podcast episode 17. One of the, it's, there's still small, slight disappointments with the casing just because you do have that thought of it popping off on your tab, you know, popping off the tablet. But that's one of the things I wish you didn't have to be, which was so aware of the case when adjusting the kickstand. So with that being said, though, it's been great. And of course, the keyboard has been amazing. So unfortunately, I can't show you the entire screen, but I should be able to show you just enough screen and show you guys some of the keyboard tips and tricks that I have learned. And one of the first things I needed to learn was what the meta key was on this keyboard here. So one of the ways you can actually access your uh, the, the keyboard shortcuts is by going to settings. And actually, before I do down here, you see, I got the time and you may not be able to see it, but I have the time right down here before I had the date. The reason why I only had the date and not the time was because of good lock. So good lock really does affect how Dex kind of outputs information to you. I had my clock hidden in tablet mode, so it will hide it down here in the docking bar or in the task bar. So in order for you to get your time back, you got to go back into good lock in, ta in tablet mode and reposition your clock and it will pop back up down here in the task bar. Just want to throw that out there real quick. But as I said, you want to go to settings and then you want to go to Samsung Dex. And then you want to go. So I know you guys can't see it, but yeah, you'll see it at the very top when you click on settings, the Samsung Dex. Then you come down to here to how to use Samsung Dex. Once you click on that, you will see um, use keyboard shortcuts. So once you do that, it's going to show you like starter exit Dex with Meta plus W, and the Meta key is the search key. It's the search key on this Tab S6 keyboard. And if it is on the Tab S4, I'm sure it's probably like that steady through all Samsung's keyboards. But it's the search key. And so that's how you do search and W. Let's say hold search, hit W, your exit dex mode. You want to change the language, you know, all that. And then more sh sh uh, sh uh, keyboard <clears throat> shortcuts. You would go search plus and boom. And then you see they popped up. So here's where you can get a bunch of different uh, commands or shortcuts that you can use with the keyboard and not have to worry about, you know, using the touchpad or using your S Pen or even having to touch the screen. Perhaps you just use the keyboard functions to maneuver through certain things. And it's not that hard. You got shortcuts from going home, back, recents, your running apps. You can close your current app with Alt F4 like a traditional keyboard or desktop or laptop would. You have... You know, you can go back to your lock screen. You can show your apps. And that's where it probably gave it away because when you do hit search, the apps pop up. And then when you hit it again, it goes away. So, and then, of course, you can just click keyboard shortcuts if you want to down here. <clears throat> and this is, you don't get all of them, but you get quite a few here. So, you have a couple simple ones like if you press that and B, it'll bring up the browser. You know, search and B or search and C brings up contacts, email. Now messages, I wish it was M, Meta M, but it's Meta S. So when I so if I was to do Meta S, my messages would pop up. You want calendar? It's Meta K, and then the calendar pops up behind the keyboard as you guys see right here. So it's very relatively easy to you know maneuver through stuff like that. One of the things I could show you guys right here right now is if I was to actually I'm not gonna full screen that. So you guys see, I have a window popped up. It's kind of hard to see. So maybe if I hit it at an angle like that, and I'm sorry for the light being all right here, but unfortunately I just have to have it here. So if I wanted to maximize the screen, if I hit meta and up, then, or search and the up, you know, function on the little, you know, up, down, left, right, it will maximize the window. And if I hit, meta or search down it'll minimize the window or or you know shorten the window and then if i hit search and down again it'll minimize it completely so i like that because sometimes it's hard to swipe up and down uh, or down at the top of the screen to bring up the little minimize maximize x so that's one of the things that are that is great for you know usability here is you don't have to worry about you know messing with the screen a lot you can just access everything from the keyboard so if i was to bring i'm just gonna use this hand. if i was to bring this back up right if i wanted to go home i would do search and enter and i'm back home just like that and then if i wanted to go back 
So maybe while I'm in here, if I do this and back, it'll go back through the settings that I was in. Now, if I want to see my recent apps, it's search and tab. And then all my recent apps will pop up just like that. Now, there's something different about this because all those are the recent apps you've used. Let's say you wanted to, uh, you know, go back. Now, let's say you just want to see what apps are currently running in the background. Then you would do Alt Tab. And then Alt Tab brings up all, oh, well, I don't know, really? Alt Tab. Oh, okay, so that's how you can. Okay, so it's a little fidgety there, but all right, there we go. So now, as you guys can see, you can swipe through all your tabs, and then <clears throat> and it shows you running apps, and it almost looks like that's how you can actually kind of switch between apps without, as you guys were seeing, like if I hit it really quick, boom. So if I hit it at the same time, boom, then it'll switch between apps. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then here, if I just hit tab, it'll clear that little gray out on here. So those are some of the keyboard tips and tricks I wanted to come back and show you guys that I've been learning to use on here. Using a touchpad is fun and cool. But because you have so many different ways of being able to now operate your device, sometimes it's nice doing this and clicking on stuff. Sometimes it's nice just using the S Pen. Sometimes it's nice just using your hand. Sometimes it's nice doing a combination of both. If you go with finger ergonomics, as I would say, you can take your hand with the S Pen in it and use a touchpad. You know, use a touchpad, scroll around, you click, and then you can just click on it, boom, just like that, and not have any issues. So that that's some of the things I've been learning with this keyboard and my surprising results of the keyboard and more specifically the case cover for the galaxy tab s6 let me know down in the comments your thoughts and, and questions or ideas about the use of the keyboard or even the case cover the comment section is always open but if you haven't already make sure you guys ignite that like button subscribe if you haven't already and make sure you guys hit that notification bell so that way you guys stay informed when i drop videos but your boy versatile signing out and until the next video Wait for